Can you imagine a building so massive that 20 Empire State Buildings could fit inside of it? Well, get ready to blow your mind. Saudi Arabia unveiled Lumukov earlier this month as its most recent undertaking. It's a cube mega project that according to Saudi Arabia is a getaway to another world with a holographic dome that whisks tourists away to other planets and fantastical realms. So will Lemukov truly be built, or is it just a viral marketing stunt? If true, when will it be accessible to the general public? We'll take a look inside the mega project and learn everything that you need to know about this project. Before we dive into the queue, it is important to understand the unparalleled massive vision of Saudi Arabia and its mega projects. A powerful nation in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia is well known for its enormous oil reserves, but Saudi Arabia wants to rely less on this oil in order to reduce its dependence. And thus, under the phrase Vision 2030, they have begun to announce and construct enormous mega-projects in an effort to gradually transition their economy away from oil and towards tourism. Neom, a $1 trillion mind-blowing mega-project that includes an amazing 170 kilometers long line city, an incredible floating port city named Octagon, and a sizable ski resort in the Arabian desert called Trojina, which is the largest of these schemes. The CEO of Neom stated in January that the city's overall infrastructure was already 20% complete. The words, Neom is real, were the first words in an update video that featured scenes from massive building sites like the Line, the Octagon and Trojina. Saudi Arabia has already teamed with a number of well-known corporations, including Oracle and NVIDIA, to establish AI technologies that will be used across Neom City. As if the news that Neom would be releasing the lines Octagon and Trojina weren't enough. A brand new project called Welcome to New Maraba has just been announced. The newest component of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 is this cube. Although Neom has received a lot of attention recently, Saudi Arabia doesn't want to overlook the other major towns in the kingdom, which is why a new Maraba will be constructed in Riyadh. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, is already a rapidly expanding city. It was a town with fewer than 500,000 residents 50 years ago, but it today has more than 7 million. The new Moraba project would transform the third biggest metropolis in the Middle East into the largest modern downtown in the entire globe, according to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. It is anticipated that this new district will accelerate Riyadh's expansion. It will be equipped with more than 80 entertainment venues, numerous walking routes, a sizable museum, and the colossal new cob at its heart. The structure will be referred to as the Q because the Arabic word Mukab means Q. Simple geometric designs being constructed at absurd scales appears to be a common motif in Saudi Arabia's mega projects. The Mukab has been called the new face of Riyadh, replacing the line and the octagon, the Najdi architectural style, which has been popular among Saudi Arabians for many years, served as the inspiration for the cube's facade. Sunlight will reflect off the lovely surface, dominating the Riyadh skyline. At a height of 400 meters, this cube will be stunning in its size. If built in Dubai, it would be the fourth tallest structure, making it technically a super tall skyscraper. But just wait till you hear this. Unlike other skyscrapers, the Mukeb is also 400 meters broad and would totally dominate the skyline. The Mukeb Q is designed to make entering it feel like stepping into another universe. Above its visitors will be a massive dome that showcases various virtual realities. The purpose of these holographic pictures is to give Mukab visitors the impression that they are in another dimension. It's intended to be a completely immersive experience unlike anything you've ever had. It will include dining establishments, hotel rooms with viewing decks, cinemas, and theaters. The enormous cube will next encompass the tower and the dome. Why is the Mukab formed like a cube? The Mukab's cube shaped design is deemed to be the most effective shape for accommodating all of the advanced technologies that will assist the overall experience by the designers. The Mukab would provide Riyadh a distinctive landmark that would help it stand out among other major cities throughout the globe. Nonetheless, some people have criticized the shape since they believe it resembles the Kaaba in Mecca. In general, enthusiasm and mystery have followed the unveiling of the Mukab project. Though it hasn't officially begun, Construction should get underway in the coming months. Saudi Arabia has pledged that the project, along with the other Vision 2030 projects including the Line, the Octagon, and the Trojina, will be made public in 2030. This is probably easier to accomplish than the Line, 
Even so, it would remain the largest mega project ever constructed. Let's divide it into three distinct cases. The first conceivable outcome is that, as promised, construction on a 400 meter tall cube would begin in the next months and be completed by 2030. Riyadh will get a new symbol and gradually draw travelers from all over the world, making it one of the most popular travel destinations in the world. There are a lot of challenges to overcome, which brings us to the second scenario if everything seems too wonderful to be true. Financial professionals already have doubts about the project's viability. They are unable to predict where Saudi Arabia will get the money to fund yet another large-scale project. The finances of all of this, according to Dr. Andreas Creed, a Middle Eastern studies expert at King's College London, are not completely secure. CNN questioned the Public Investment Fund about the project's financing a few days after the MUCOP made its statement. Although no financial information had been provided up to this point, more would be forthcoming. By 2030, a lot will rely on foreign investment. The goal of Saudi Arabia is to bring in more than $100 billion annually to assist finance projects. They haven't reached that level yet, but if enough buzz is created, foreign investment might climb quickly. Nevertheless, there is no assurance that it will. Amnesty International's accusations of human rights crimes against Vision 2030 cast a shadow on the project as a whole and may deter foreign investors. But even if Saudi Arabia is successful in raising the necessary funds, there is still a much more difficult obstacle to surmount. Even so, is this huge project technically feasible? The Mukov's dome-sized holograms still seem like science fiction. Large LED screens may likely produce a similar result. This is taking place at the MSG Sphere, a project currently under construction in Las Vegas that is scheduled to debut this year. The interior wall of this immersive entertainment space, which will resemble a big sphere, will be entirely covered by a wraparound screen measuring 15,000 square meters. It will be the biggest screen in the world measuring three football fields in size. It's intended to take viewers of the spheres to realistic realms similar to the Mukab in Saudi Arabia. Yet there's a significant distinction. This will blow your mind. A screen that vast would need to be constructed for the Mukab, which would need to be at least 20 times larger than the one in the MSG sphere. Not to mention the enormous lake that is perched on the cube's roof. Millions of liters of water would put a tremendous amount of strain on the structure necessitating a very strong and waterproof design for the cube. The expensive equipment just underneath the lake would be severely harmed if the lake were to leak. As a result, even though the cube is already having many difficulties, it may never be completed if there isn't sufficient funding for it. Nevertheless, there is a third choice. Maybe the cube will one day be constructed, but in a scaled-down, less ambitious version. Even if it were scaled down from 400 meters to 200 meters or smaller, it would still be the tallest cube-shaped structure in the world and a striking sight. In comparison to the existing designs, it would be disappointing, but it would still be an improvement. What will happen next is impossible to predict, but one thing is definite. 2030 is as fast approaching, and it's going to be a fascinating couple of years. The Mukov, the Lion, and other groundbreaking projects might open their doors to the public, or maybe none of them will ever be finished. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel.